Shields, homie. That's right. Shields. We got shields in 1.10.0.3, and I'm going to talk about how they work right now. Hey there, guys. Skippy here for Room Skippy 6 Gaming. Guys, coming to you from Random Bedrock Beta World, and we are going to talk about shields. Guys, today uh, we did our update videos yesterday, and in the update videos, I kind of go over the change log, and I'm kind of curt about everything. But today, guys, we are going to go in-depth about everything and anything that has to do with shields guys for this one here let's go for 312 likes if you are one of those dudes don't forget to hit me up below so yeah guys twitter is a good place to get notified of all of my videos and uh, minecraft news when it comes out so uh, yeah you should follow me there let's start talking about this so guys shields have been added i've set up an orangutan area orangutan i don't know if that's a real word it's definitely not shield so as you can see shields have been added one of the number one arguments and conversation pieces about these shields is how are you gonna make them work so just because we're here on xbox it's easy we got a controller with all kinds of buttons it's not really that simple because bedrock is across versions one of the biggest arguments was how are they going to implement these shields onto a mobile device and that's kind of the big deal uh long story short crouching guys you are gonna crouch this is gonna this is what implements a shield you can see i have a shield in my hand you can you can swat it you can swat it but once you crouch is when it goes there's like a lot of lag in the beta but you can see basically once that happens that's how that works you can also throw your shield in your off hand so once you throw it in your off hand you can see it's in the other hand now and it's going to implement once you crouch again delayed with the lag yeah exactly and that's how that works in addition if we really wanted to we could put another shield again this is a kind of wonky one but uh, let's go like this and let's do this so you could see, and then we double so only the off hand will crouch and then i think you can hit with the other one uh yeah there's some sort of weird lag but that's okay I think crouching is pretty much the way to go on that. So uh, I'm going to get out of that uh, perspective because, uh, yeah, I'm not very fond of it. Let's get rid of this shield first and uh, let's take this other one out of my thing. So starts with the first things first. Now that we know how to activate it, we need to know how to make it. So basically, as you can see right here, this is the crafting recipe for a shield. It's very simple. Wooden blocks and one iron ingot. Uh, that's not uh, you know that difficult when you break it down to it the wooden blocks could be any wooden or wooden planks my bad uh, could be any wooden planks mixed with it so the one thing we have to figure out too is uh, going around what exactly they do on bedrock so shields are a little bit of a uh, intermediary item right now because shields on Java act differently and I know basically they're trying to find a halfway point and this is the first step in that direction so uh, I'm gonna go over what it says in the wiki and we can kind of talk about this because none of this is like you know guaranteed on bedrock but I feel like a lot of it probably is relevant and I think that all in all as far as defense goes this is one thing so shields are using used for blocking incoming attacks using one causes the player to slow to a sneaking pace so that's the benefit because when you use the shield on java you're gonna move like you're crouched or sneaking anyway so kind of works as a win after five ticks 0.25 seconds blockable attacks coming from the front of the player will be negated dealing no damage when the shield blocks an attack which is four or stronger it takes damage to the strength of the attack rounded down plus one again translating this to bedrock it might not be exactly the same but we can gather this is kind of the idea for shields uh most non-damage effects of range attacks such as being set on fire by a fireball or poisoned by a poisonous arrow are prevented while being set on fire from a flaming arrow arrow is not so a flaming arrow will set you on fire knockback from both melee attacks and projectiles is nullified totally so you will not be knocked back uh while knockback from explosions is reduced to one block or less so you only get pushed one block when a melee attack is blocked the attacker will be knocked back slightly one block away so you counter knockback uh the shield block in any direction attacks coming up to but not including 90 degrees away from the horizontal detection direction the player is facing i.e it covers almost a full hemisphere in front of the player so i feel like a hemisphere is a half a circle i don't know if that's the official definition of that word but i'm thinking it is the player's vertical rotation normally makes no difference of the direction of the blocked attacks however a playing player facing straight up or down may be unable to block attacks from any direction 
Similarly, attacks coming from directly above or below may not be blocked. Blockable attacks include mob player melee attacks, arrows, fireballs, thrown items such as tridents and snowballs, all non-magical projectiles, damage from thorns also includes pufferfish, some explosions, creeper explosions, or TNT ignited by other players are blockable, but not TNT ignited by yourself or a redstone mechanism, so pay attention to that one. Shields do not block Elder Guardian lasers, no, and like armor, any other magical damage. If attacked by an axe, use of the shield has a chance to be disabled for 5 seconds. The shield also does not block for up to 0.25 seconds after being selected. Uh, they already said that at the top, but when hit by an arrow or trident, they will ricochet off and may hit other entities. The shield also prevents pieces of armor from being damaged and harming from touching magma blocks. So how cool is that actually? That's a really interesting thing. So the next question people are going to say is, let's look at this. So first things first, we're going to throw this picture up here. On Java Edition, one of the coolest things people do is add banners to shields. This is not enabled on Bedrock Edition yet, but we think it probably will be, especially when you attach it to the fact that the loom is an item in this one too. So not available yet, probably will be soon. So the other thing that you're going to take into account is that Shields can be repaired. I'm not sure if they've transferred this function over, but basically by adding two broken shields uh, and putting them together, you can actually put, it'll combine how much, you know, love is left in the shield plus 5%. The last little known thing that everybody's going to want to know is what can a shield be enchanted with? Well, this is actually easy. We could just go ahead and pick block this guy. Unbreaking and mending. Those are the two. There is a curse of vanishing on Java Edition, which we do not have on Bedrock Edition. Uh, so for shields for them, but in Bedrock Edition at the moment, mending and unbreaking are the only two shield enchantments you can do. So uh, I think we pretty much covered most of it. I think we're going to put into effect right now a little bit of how a shield works so first of all i'm going to just keep it in my hand and we're going to try this one out uh and i'm going to turn it to survival mode and we're going to have a little fun and watch how close we get basically kind of keep an eye on keep an eye on how far away you have to be from him from the skeleton that i've so conveniently placed over there uh in order to block so you can see we're blocking right now and we're going towards him so it's almost like he doesn't pathfind me right now. Oh, it's just laggy right now. So let's see. Let's let him do it. The bedrock beta is super laggy. We're going to stand still and allow this shield to hit. So basically it kind of covers. There you go. Blocked. So let's move closer. So you notice it bounced back. Again with the lag, that's a thing. But really when you look at it, let's see if we can't do this. Maybe we'll get a side view. Oh, bang right in his face. I like it. I like it. So let's just go ahead and turn this guy back. I think we pretty much covered everything that shields do uh, so far before, you know, we got to give it a chance to get all of the final features in. But there you go, guys. We covered it all. Crafting recipe. What can it enchant? What it does? How to use it? And all the fun stuff, guys. Don't forget to smash that like before you go. Don't forget as well to subscribe to my channel for, uh, yeah, cool tutorials, let's plays, and stuff. Thanks a lot for tuning in, and I'll catch you on the next one. The lag is real on this, bro. He's dead, and he's not even showing it. Aww.